Bells, and I'm here with some Animal Crossing tips and tricks. The first one for this game, and I'm sure if you're watching this video, you're very interested and you haven't unlocked the action or you're trying to figure out what specific action unlocks the flimsy axe. And that action is when you go up to Tom Nook and you talk to him like this, you go to I found a creature. It's basically the mechanic of turning in creatures, excuse me, before you have unlocked the museum. And when you get to this uh, this little menu, when you give him two creatures, two different animals, two specific, uh, not two specific animals, but two different um, individual animals, unique animals, he will then give you like an update to your app and that update will give you the ability to get the flimsy axe. And then he asks you, he's like, oh, my friend is a cu museum curator. And then he's like, yeah, I'll take it away. But I'm assuming, it's not confirmed, but I'm assuming when you get to the, mu when you get the museum and you're or on your island, all the things that you donated to it will already be showing up in the museum by the time you get there. And you get a reward. Uh, after you turn in two different creatures, you get a reward for each one you turn in. So now I got a bag of flowers. So that's how you unlock the flimsy axe. But the next step of unlocking the next set of tools, like a better set of tools, is when you actually get to pay off your tent your initial debt if you will of 5,000 miles um, and you start getting the nook miles plus when you start getting these little things up here you then can redeem your nook miles for actual um, items you want to go to the nook stop you're gonna go in here and I already have 5,000 more nook miles oh yeah you also get nook miles for activating that each day if you did not know you go to redeem Nick Miles. And then you go down to here. So there's a lot of great things. First of all, you can unlock uh, some hairstyles. Yeah, just you have a whole bunch of hairstyles you can unlock. But you go to pretty good tools recipe. So six DIY recipes for tools with excellent durability. So I'm assuming that, that unlocks like the just like the normal pickaxe and or normal shovel and axe and all those things. It's 3,000 miles, so as soon as you have 3,000 miles, which is pretty easy to get by, come by. I mean, I'm only like two and a half hours in the game. I already had 10,000 nook miles accumulated. Here it has been processed. Please place your nook phone near the terminal to receive app data. Boom. Now let's look at the actual recipes that I've received. Yeah, you can make stronger tools that won't break so easily now. It's gonna be a uh, material gathering game changer. Yes, huge. Then we go to the DIY. So I actually haven't seen these myself. So I'm excited to see what it is. Oh, yep, yep. So we get the stone. So we get stone axe, we get axe, we get the shovel, a normal fishing rod and a normal net. Oh, along with um, the watering can. So there you go. So you get these three pretty legit. Oh, and you have to use the old one. So it's a flimsy net plus iron nugget, flimsy fishing rod plus iron nugget, flimsy shovel plus iron nugget. Wow, that's pretty awesome. You just build on build on top of stuff. Oh, that's really cool. Well, there you go, guys. I hope you appreciate this really quick video of tips and tricks in Animal Crossing. And we're gonna try to push out more videos as I discover things. Um, and it's a little hard to record the video before I find out things in this game since I can't save a prior state, but I'll try to get it out to you as, as quickly as possible. If you're new to this channel, please hit the subscribe, subscribe button. I'm also streaming at twitch.tv slash Andy Mills um, if you want to support me live. Thank you very much, guys. Have a great one.